Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Rich Kiker, Google Apps Certified Trainer as part of the Belmar School District Chromebook Project. I'd like to show you a simple tool today from Google Translate that works inside the Chrome web browser. It's downloadable from the Chrome Web Store and it will take any website. Here I have a Google Tools for Educator course that I teach often and it can translate it into any language so you can make it portable uh, and transferable easy access for anyone. So here I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab in my Chrome web browser. I'm going to go out to my Chrome web store and I'm going to search for translate. This will bring up a number of results but I'm going to scroll down quickly here to extensions. Here's Google Translate. I'm going to add it for free. Notice I also have this little G icon which tells me it's a Google product. I'm going to confirm my new extension, click add, and momentarily you'll see it pop up from the toolbar saying that it has been added to Chrome. I'm going to close this pop up for now, close my Chrome web store, and I'm back at my website. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, uh, you know, move around a little bit. Let's pick up another site here. Okay, so this is in English. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly select this extension. I'll get a toolbar that pops down. It asks me to view this page in, and I'm going to change it from English to Spanish. I'm going to choose the translate command button. It's going to take a second, and then you'll see that all of the text has been converted to Spanish. And it does a pretty good job, from what I understand. <laughs> so, you know, it may not be exact, but it certainly is enough for people whose native language is not English to understand and transfer, and certainly is a handy extension. Once I'm done, and I want to get back to English, I can simply come out to the Google Translate toolbar, come over here to the right hand side, click the X, turn it off, and I'm back to English. I hope that's helpful.